Hi, my name is Amy Carroll. As a communication coach and trainer, one of the questions I often ask my participants is who has ever been verbally aggressed in a personal or a professional situation? Well, 85% of the time, 95%, sometimes 100% of the time, people raise their hands. This is clearly an issue many of us have faced. So today, I'm going to show you how a simple and effective technique that you can use will enable you to neutralize a verbal aggressor, sometimes in 30 seconds or less. Okay, ready? I'm going to show you what this technique is. Then I'm going to ask a brave volunteer to come in and yell at me so you can see it in action. Afterwards, I'm going to explain how you can make this technique part of your own skill set. The main part of the technique is exactly what I'm doing right now. It's called the neutral stance. Shoulders distance apart for the feet, and the hands are relaxed at the side. Simple, right? Yet not so easy, especially if you've got someone screaming at you. So wherever you are right now, I want you to stand up. Come on. Come on, stand up. I see you sitting down. Come on. All right. You there? Feet shoulder distance apart. Hands relaxed at the side. Good. All right, in a couple seconds, you're going to notice the discomfort of standing like this. Your hands are going to want to move and you're going to want to scratch your neck or adjust your clothes. Resist any movement. Force yourself to just keep your hands relaxed at your sides and not glued to your legs either. Just relax. What often happens when people are practicing the neutral stance is they want to do things like the fig leaf, the prisoner, the angry aerobics instructor, remember her? Scary, right? You gotta override that. Because when you're standing and doing the neutral stance, what you're projecting to that aggressive person is, I'm calm, I'm in control, I'm comfortable, I'm relaxed. All is well. If you're doing something else, you know, like this, for example, or, or, or one hand in the pocket, or, or this is a big one. You're going to project arrogance or defensiveness or even aggressive behavior. And that is definitely not going to get you the response you want. Now, let's see what it looks like in action. This is my friend, Philip. Thank you for coming in to do this with me, Philip. You're welcome. So, Philip, the way this is going to work is you're going to, let's say you're my boss or my client or something, and you're going to come and aggressively yell at me. Whatever you've accused me of, I've done it, all right? And I want you to just be, like, really in my space, inappropriately yelling at me. Then I'm going to use a technique though you don't have to worry about if it's working or not. You only just notice if you're motivated to keep being aggressive, okay. If you're not, if you're inspired to stop, then just let that happen naturally. I'm purposely not going to explain everything I'm going to do to you. And the other thing is, this is uh, verbal aggression only, not physical. <laughs> is that clear? Okay, good. That's clear. Okay. No kicking. No kicking today, no. <laughs> and then afterwards, I'll have you stay for a moment so we can debrief it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, can you be... Oh, I know. I'm going to show you how aggressive I want you to be. Mm -hmm. You ready? Philip, are you kidding me? This? You call it professional? Okay, that's how intense. You ready for that? Okay. All right, good. Okay. Amy. Philip. You messed up the travel arrangements again. Did I? I'm very disappointed. This is the third time you've oh, done it. Oh, got it. This is no good. This You're can't right. continue like that. It's been done before, yeah. and it's got to stop. Okay. Huh? All right. So <laughs> it just happened. Huh? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? No, I, I know what you were about. I saw that. Right. Is yeah. So, so did it? Did you notice how it was hard to stay angry? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm running out of arguments. I'm afraid. Yes. But, um, so what? It, it is, yes. Yeah. You, 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 you accuse yourself and you say, I'm sorry, and there's, and there's, that you, you, you put the pin in the ball, actually, in the, in, the, in the bubble, and it blows and it's gone. Exactly. Obviously. So here's, I'm going to walk through this, I'm going to do this debrief, and I'm, I want you to tell me if you realize this was what was happening in your brain. 
When you came in that aggressively, I'm guessing you were either expecting me to be defensive and aggressive back or to retreat and over apologize. Mm -hmm. Right? That's okay. That's one of the, the scenarios that would normally go on. Yes. Right. That's right. typical. When that didn't happen, I'm guessing that in your brain there was this little moment of confusion, of destabilization that you weren't getting a response you were expecting. Is that true? Yes. Okay. And then probably right after that was the thought, I'm going to look really stupid in a minute if I keep misbehaving. If I continue, of course, of yeah. course there's no real reason to continue. Right. Um, the bubble's burst, uh, the anger's gone, and uh, I can just say, well, well done. Oh, okay, yeah, and so here, well done. So here's what's interesting. So the, uh, um, what I got Philip to do was to motivate himself to change his behavior, to recalibrate, because he didn't want to keep feeling this sense of, oh, I'm going to look stupid. And then, if it's done well, either the person's going to thank you or apologize or go out of their way to help you, and what we heard was you were wanting to say thank you. Okay, super. Is there anything you would add to this exchange that you observed or noticed? No, not really. I don't, I don't perhaps think that somebody in a, a professional uh, organization would come out and, and be perhaps that oh. aggressive. But oh, Philip. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yes, sadly, this is why I'm doing this video because yeah. it's horrible to hear just mm -hmm. how aggressive people are. And these people can use this in non-professional situations as well. Of course. It yeah. can be applied to any, any situation. Right. Thank okay. you, Philip. Thank you. So that's the trick. I have to act as if Philip is being totally reasonable and normal. Any indication that I thought he was misbehaving, even a raised eyebrow, would have kept him going. Also, this is absolutely not the moment to mention you know, gee, Philip, you're really misbehaving right now. Even if I said that respectfully as a partner, this is not the time to have that conversation. I can talk to him about it later, maybe a couple days later, maybe a week later. The purpose of not addressing it now in the moment is to help him to save face. So, now that you've seen it work, there's another trick that I did that I want to point out. When Philip was standing there yelling at me, did you notice how I raised my hand towards him? I call this a peace offering. It's a form of active listening. And it's saying, I hear you, I take you seriously. And it's also showing that I'm engaged in the conversation. Because frankly, I don't want to be doing a lot of talking. Because I'll be stressed and nervous and may talk too much or defend myself. So remember, I've talked about this in other films. The video, or other videos, the, uh, the formula for, for practice. I'm going to get this out. Three to five minutes a day in a low stress situation. And you apply the practice every day for a couple of months. Uh-huh, I know, it's a long time, except that repetition is what creates the muscle memory. And then in intense situations like this one, unfortunately the brain is likely to shut down under stress. It's called an amygdala hijacking. Except if you've been practicing over and over and over, you create that muscle memory, there's a chance you'll be able to, your body will be able to cope with the stress and your brain will still be able to function under the pressure. In fact, this is what happens sometimes. Even when I'm doing a demonstration like this or in a classroom, if someone's really yelling at me, my brain wants to say, run! Except now my body can override it most of the time because I've practiced. So instead I'm able, as you saw earlier, I can turn slowly extend my hand out. I move slowly. I look, soft smile on my face. And even if my brain's thinking, oh God, who is it? I don't know. Oh, what's your name? What is he saying? Because I've overridden the panic, my brain, or rather my feet, remain firm. And then I give the impression that all is well. And then the other person will respond in kind almost every time. In fact, what was it? Maybe five, ten seconds before he calmed down. And notice how he did say thank you at the end. Then you'll really know that it works. So where to practice this neutral stance? No, not the bathroom mirror. You might do that once. You'll never do it again. Think about where you are in your daily life, standing in lines, at the grocery store, the gas station, a bus station, train stop, tram stop, 
airline check-in counter. Many different places to choose from every day we're standing still. My personal favorite is the elevator of a tall building. So when you're standing there, the trick is you've got to get rid of anything you have in your hands. So if you've got bags, put them on the ground. And then you just stand there. Breathe. It's this practice that will move you to mastery. Eventually, it starts to feel comfortable. Then it will work like magic because you'll be ready for that aggressive person. One last thing I want to mention is when you go to speak, your brain is going to be freaking out, as I said earlier, and you have that tendency to babble. So keep your sentences short to a minimum. You notice I just, I agreed with what he said. Yes, that's right. No, it shouldn't have happened. Keep it short. And that way, the person is going to calm down faster and you'll see the magic in front of your eyes. Those are my tips for today. If you enjoyed this video and you want additional ideas on becoming a more powerful communicator, feel free to connect with me on my social media channels, Amy Carroll Coaching, or check out my book, The Ego Tango. Thanks for tuning in and happy partnering.